we've only had a few people come and actually tour. I'm honored. Um, because, uh, you know, it's, uh, there are certain trade secrets to this, but there are, there's just basically a lot of hard work that makes this happen. You know, there are several steps to making a Zill. It starts off with a coil of metal that we blank into the discs that become the Zills themselves. So they're really born as a flat piece of metal. Um, and then depending on the design, and Harry had different approaches at different times. So some of these are made differently from each other based upon how he was thinking about making things at the time, okay? Um, they are designed, so the, the theme of the Zill's name is you know, inscribed on it, and the story that it tells comes from that step. And that's basically stamping uh, where we compress the metal uh, and give the appearance of engraving the surface by compressing the metal in the design phase. Um, the key to what a symbol is, though, is the shape of it. Um, and that is in the forming stage. So we take the round disc that's got a design on it in many cases, and we shape it into the final shape that you know as the tone that you hear and like, okay? Now, each one of the zills of styles, which we have 46, I think at last count, um, comes in a variety of metals and finishes, and in some cases, slightly different tones become of that, because of that. So each zill, each style, has its own recipe. And that recipe is made of the kind of metal that we use, the way we handle the metal, the size of it, the thickness of it, uh, and then the shape we form to create the, the, the finished piece itself. Okay. The very last phase is uh, the slotting. And so the two slots are basically punched out of what was a flat disc. So it's this, each disc is in a sense double punched um, to give you the slots. We're also offering, for percussion purposes and for other specialty designs, single holes. Um, and we're currently drilling those um, to get the finish of, of that particular style and piece. I, I, I counted at one time the number of times we touch any one piece, and it's like five or six different times. Each one of the steps, we're handling the piece. Um, the most of the handling by us comes in the finishing operation which is smoothing the surface, rounding the edges, and then giving it the final shine. And that starts with machine polishing. Um, we do some what's called tumbling, and then we do hand buffing. So for the last couple of years, um, every zill that we put out is touched and buffed by us by hand um, before it goes into the final package ready for the money room and the ordering. Okay.